When you can say, I am God, you are acknowledging the fact that a piece of source individualized itself as you. And you'll also recognize at the same time that every other being is also a piece of source individualized. Source is learning to know itself progressively, eternally, through manifesting itself in a multitude of forms. These are the teachings that Jesus taught. These are the teachings that the Essenes traveled from place to place to teach and got hunted by all sorts of people because of it. We have been taught in our cultures a gross twist and distortion of our relationship to God. We've been taught God is way out there someplace and we're way down here someplace and there's this big space in between the two. We have been taught that not because they were the original teachings from Source, not because they were even the original teachings from Jesus. We were taught that because certain people, let's refer to them right now as the Illuminati Collective, who are in places of power since the Atlantean period, which technically ended in 9558 BC, they decided they'd like to run the world. They decided they would like to take over this planet and its stargates. And they decided the way to do that was to hijack the consciousness of the other life forms that lived here. And they knew Templar mechanics, so they knew how to do it. Templar mechanics, the inner Christos teachings, they were used and twisted in a way that created an ability by certain Illuminati forces. They call themselves Illuminati because they were illuminated. And it was a very arrogant way of looking at it. They had the technical teachings left. But what they lost contact with was the law of one. What they lost contact with was the feeling of source within them to where they could never hurt another life form because they knew it was only the self. Because there was only one self. That was the God self. And that is all. The Illuminati races had the first distortions in genetic code on this planet. Their distortion in genetic code created within their consciousness a reciprocal distortion where they began to make a division in their own understanding between God, themselves, and other people to the point where they could inflict harm on other people and justify it by scientific teachings without having any conscience as to, or recognition that the people they were harming were, the, were another face, another aspect of themselves, because all were God. These teachings that once upon a time gave us freedom and the absolute free will joy to create, co-create with Source, the collective of what Source is. We were given those teachings for a joyful creation here. But they were taken and they were twisted into a control dogma. That control dogma took a num numerous types of forms. The first forms after Atlantis that came up, came up through Sumerian culture, where we got stories of things like the god Marduk and these kind of things. We got creator god stories, gods Jehovah, gods Marduk, all sorts of gods. We had godlets running around all over the place in the old Sumerian days. And then we had the Egyptian period, where even more gods came into the scene. And all of a sudden, gods weren't the living presence of spirit within you. Gods became things out there and beings who said, I'm your God. In other words, I'm your bully. We lost touch with the teachings that allowed the force and consciousness and cognition of being God to move through us. Our t the teachings took us from saying, no, that's not right. This is God. You have to worship this out here, outside of yourself. Now, that couldn't have been done to us if the planetary grid distortions hadn't taken place. If that hadn't happened, if the things to the planetary grids hadn't happened and our DNA was functioning the way it was designed to function, nobody could have done that to us. Nobody could have told us a lie about the relationship to God because we were a living embodiment of that knowing. But when our DNA became distorted, when our DNA templates became distorted because the planetary grids became distorted, we lost the conscious awareness while we were in our 3D bodies of what our relationship to Source was. And it was very frightening because we were an avatar race that was used to knowing that God was always with us and a part of us and we were a part of God. We had our memory banks wiped. And there were several instances, I won't get into it in this workshop, but in the Templar workshop, we'll touch on a few moments in history that were actually, that actually survived in the records in the Bible, like the Tower of Babel 
<laughs> we call that the Babylon Massacre, because we've been Babylon ever since. Because <laughs> what happened in the Babylon Massacre, and I believe that was 3470 BC, that's when a major acceleration in the grid damage was done to the planet, and it totally knocked our memory banks, our race memory banks, out of whack, and it totally messed up our DNA, creating that base 4 distortion in the chemical DNA that I told you about.